In this video we're going to continue to we'll work with fractions and you might have guessed we're going to learn how to multiply fractions now because we've learned how to add and subtract them. So this is actually what people usually find easy at adding and subtracting fractions is to multiply them. Basically what you do is you multiply the two denominators and you multiply the two numerators which is very easy and then obviously you simplify the fraction if you can so let's do some examples I've got two thirds times three fifths so I times these two numbers on the top I times the two numbers on the bottom as well now Three is a common factor of both the numerator and the denominator, so that means we can simplify this. So I get two on the top and five on the bottom. So that's two fifths. Next one. Multiply the tops and the numerators and the bottoms as well the denominators and again we can simplify this a bit I get 9 and take a factor of 2 out of both I get 9 there and I get 14 in the bottom and that's the simplest form now we can multiply more than two fractions together so I'm going to do an example what I do here is I multiply all of these denominators and all of the numerators so 3 times 5 that's 15 and then if I times that by 6 I get let's see I get 90 yeah I get 90 on the top and on the bottom here 9 times 7 that's 63 times 10 that's 630 and what am I going to take out as my factor here I can take out 90 as a factor here 90 goes into that once and 90 goes into this bottom one here. 7 times. So that is a seventh. Now, five, we can also do improper fractions. What we do here is we change them into improper fractions and then we we'll multiply. So I'm going to write this as 5 halves times. 7 fifths. So there we go. All I've done here is I've changed these to improper fractions and now I'm going to multiply them. So I get 35 on the top and 10 on the bottom. Take out the factor of 5. It's 7 here. We get 2 on the bottom. And then if, I, if you like, you can rewrite that as a mixed number, but I'm just going to leave it as that. And same with this bottom one here. We'll do the same thing. We'll just write them as improper fractions. And then we'll multiply. So I get 3, and then I do the method 4 times 3. 12 plus the 2, 14, 14, 14, and next one here, I write that as an improper fraction as well, and I get 12 on the top, so, yeah, these numbers are pretty big. So, if you want, you might want to use your multiplication methods for them. 
but the answer is one six eight and on the bottom we'll get fifteen and we can you can have a look to see if that simplifies yourself but I'm just gonna leave it as that. And and I also wanted to quickly talk about reciprocals. A number is a reciprocal of another if that when you multiply it you get one. So for example we could say that one quart has the reciprocal of four. And the reason is because if I multiply this by four I get one because remember I can write 4 as that, and then I get 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom, and then when those divide out I get 1. And this again, these are reciprocals as well, because I can show you that I multiply them, I get 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom, that's 1. These ones here. Right, so now we can write that as a, as a, in proper fraction, and then I have three halves and two thirds, and I get six on the top, six on the bottom, that's one. So these are reciprocals, and this one here I've got 13 quarters and four thirteenths, and I get 52 on the top, 52 on the bottom. That can be written as 1. So, you can see that this is the reciprocal of that. That's the reciprocal of that. The number is basically reciprocal of another number if, when you multiply it by that number, you get 1, like I've shown here. So, that's what reciprocals are. And it probably won't be tested on it in the exam if you're just doing the foundation exam paper, I just mentioned it because it's an interesting thing to know about.